Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're actually going to be doing something a little bit different. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, so for those of you that might not know, I am actually quite a big fan of Reddit. Uh, <laughs> I spend a good amount of time on there. Let's just say, gentle sirs, hide your no ladies, because he's something of a Riz master. Uh, and I, I know that not everyone is super into Reddit or really knows much about Reddit, but on Reddit, there is these things called subreddits, which are basically like forums about really anything you can think of, right? And one of the, one really popular form on Reddit is the subreddit A. I-T-A-H. And so what that stands for is am I the a-hole, right? And so it's people telling a story about something that happened to them. Hopefully it's real. A lot of times these can be fake, which we'll get into. Um, but usually, hopefully it's a real story that they went through and then they share what they did, how they responded to the situation. And they ask, you know, am I an a-hole for how I responded? And sometimes people will say, yes, you are. And then sometimes people will say, no, you're not. Sometimes it's a little bit mixed. Sometimes both of the people in the situation are kind of terrible. Um, and so the reason that I'm bringing this up, I promise it has something to do with this channel, is this is the post that we are going to be talking about. And so it says, um, am I the a-hole for telling my morbidly obese patient that we need a team of people to roll her so that we don't hurt our backs? Now, this is actually something that I've we, we've talked about quite a bit on the channel uh, when it comes to being bigger and getting medical assistance. And I've actually had a good amount of people in the comment section of a lot of those videos saying that they are nurses and they've had experiences where they've maybe been afraid or they couldn't move someone because of their weight and it's become an issue, right? And I can completely understand that. If someone is very large, it's understandable that it's going to be hard. Now, I feel bad for people that are put in a situation where, like, say if it was me at my heaviest, if I was that big, I would be completely understandable and I would, I would feel bad genuinely bad for the people that had to move me right this was something that i used to think about a lot was like man if i get to be as big as i think i might like i'm gonna have to get like airlifted out of my house if something seriously happens to me right and i was always like man i feel bad about the strain that i'm going to have to put on the people that would need to help me out and this is kind of a story of someone that seems to not really care that much about the strain that they're going to be putting on the people that should be helping them out and the alleged nurse that is trying to help them in this situation. Um, so without further ado, let me just kind of read this, this uh, post here. So this was posted two days ago. Again, am I the a-hole for telling my morbidly obese patient that we need a team of people to roll her so that we don't hurt our backs? And it goes on to say, hi, med surge nurse here. I got a new patient last night. She is 450-ish pounds, woman in her 30s, who just had a major surgery. She is also a body positivity influencer. Okay, so there's a reason that I wanted to, to, to do this. And um, there are a lot of people that have had speculations as to who this might be about. Um, but we'll get into that. Who wanted to record everyone to document her journey we had to explain to her that in our state, she cannot record any hospital employees without their consent, and all of us are refusing consent because we do not want to be in her videos. And so this is kind of like a, uh, a perfect storm of the body positive kind of thing going on. And then on top of that, someone being an influencer and wanting to document everything. And uh, <laughs> we know how a lot of the, the public feels about influencers. I hate that sometimes I'm lumped into the same kind of group as them because th this kind of stuff where it's like you feel that you are entitled to film whoever you want because it's your quote unquote journey is so frustrating because at the end of the day, right, everyone has a right to say, no, I don't want to be on in your video, right? I don't want to be filmed, especially if it's in a, a work setting and they don't, they just don't want to be filmed. Right. And so I completely understand someone not wanting to be part of that, you know, filming. Right. Uh, but going on, she says, anywho, um, or they say, I don't know if it's a man or woman, anywho, she needed to use the bedpan. She could not lift her hips and her legs were too wide for me to wiggle the bed pan between them. I explained to her that she would have to roll on her side and then I would place the bed pan under her and then she would roll back. She tried to roll, but she couldn't do it. I told her, no big deal. I will go find a few staff members to help and we will roll you. The only person who could help at the time was the CNA who was pregnant. I explained to the patient 
that we just don't have enough staff free right now to roll her. Um, it's just me and the CNA, so we will have to wait a little bit for more people to be free. Now, this is interesting because again, one thing that I've always said that I agree with when it comes to uh, people that are, you know, in the body positivity space is like being mistreated when you go to the doctor or to the hospital, right? Because this is something that I struggled with as well. Like I had some really bad experiences, especially going to the doctor when I was younger, just doctors acting kind of just mean for no reason and just, you know, just being kind of nasty, right? And, but when, when it comes to this situation, you have to understand, like at, at the end of the day, like your size is going to be in, it's going to be a problem for a lot of people, not because they're mean, but because the size that you are, like when someone goes to be a nurse, they're not <laughs> going to, they're not thinking that they're going to be expected to lift someone that's 450 plus pounds, right? Like that's, that's ridiculous. Every, <laughs> every nurse would have to be a, a world-class power lifter at that point, right? Like you, you can't really expect that. And so you have to understand that like the size that you are, you, you, you're going to have consequences of that. And just because you're dealing with consequences that doesn't mean that everyone in the situation is conspiring against you and trying to harm you right something that this really reminds me of is this is kind of a throwback is when we first talked about j bay well not the first time but one of the recent times we talked about j bay and she complained about someone working at an airport that wasn't able to push her she claimed allegedly in her wheelchair so they said like we can't do that right and so i'll, I'll go ahead and play that clip just for those of you that might not be familiar and in this TikTok, she kind of goes over an experience that she claims that she had at an airport. So we'll go ahead and just like let it play. My ordeal at SeaTac Airport will shock you. This experience I'm about to share with you is yet another example of why employee sensitivity. Training, a demand outlined in the plus size travel petition is desperately needed. I'm a plus size wheel. So the plus size petition that petition that she's talking about is kind of the thing that she put together after the video went viral where she was talking about this stuff. And so... Again, I, there, a lot of this stuff I am I am I'm very wary of believing that it actually happened the way that she claims that it did. Uh, but we'll we'll go into that more later. Wheelchair user and on a recent flight to the SeaTac Airport, I requested wheelchair assistance as I always do. When it came time for me to deplane, I saw the employee who would be assisting me with my wheelchair waiting for me in the entry of the jet bridge. As I approached her and she realized she'd be assisting me and not one of the smaller passengers, she started to walk away with the wheelchair while making comments about my size. Even when I told her I really needed the chair and needed her to let me sit down in it, she blatantly ignored me and kept walking. So that's where like, I think if this actually happened exactly how she claimed it to happen, obviously that's not cool and doing that is not the best thing. I just really really struggle with believing that this actually happened if i'm being completely honest that might sound a little mean or anything like that but i don't mean it in that way it's just too perfect that the person that whose whole content is about this type of stuff has this crazy thing happen to them to where they can make content about it right especially when the first one went viral and kind of made her career for lack of a better term it is very interesting to me that that would happen again and make a post about it but again, that's just the theory. I was then forced to walk up one of the longest jet bridges I've encountered and she didn't stop. By the time she let me reach the wheelchair and sit down, my lips were white. My oxygen levels had dropped and I almost fainted. This was my first time flying without oxygen. This woman so I think the, the craziest thing to me is that to, to be in that position where just walking down a jet bridge, which... It might be the longest one you've ever seen, but none of those are insanely long is causing you to a point where your lips are turning white and you can barely breathe. I don't understand how you don't see that happening to you and think to yourself, I really need to make a change because this is a life that I don't want to live. This is I'm no longer living. I'm just existing. Right. Is this is this a life that truly you feel is fulfilling for you? Right. I, I really I just really struggle with how you can have that experience and instead of walking away with like a sobering reminder of, man, I really need to make some changes because the thing that's so important is that you have to understand like there is stuff that you can do, anyone in this in this position, to make your life exponentially better and be able to experience so many more things. But instead, it's it's everyone else's fault other than my own 
and everyone else needs to, you know, basically like fix everything for me and I don't need to make any sort of change. It's mind blowing to me. It really is mind blowing to me. Just assumed I could walk and would rather me do that. Instead of her having to push someone my size up the jet bridge, all the other attendants wheeled their passengers up the jet bridge, but my needs were disregarded. This is discrimination. Nobody should be treated this way. Share your story at change.org plus size travel. So again, and then plugging the, uh, <laughs> the petition or whatever. Again, it just feels a little too good to be true, um, in my opinion. I want to make it clear, I'm not saying that I think this is Jay Bay, but again, it's just the entitlement that a lot of people seem to think and, and saw in her video saying that people should, you know, change everything for Jay Bay, right? And this is the same thing it seems with this person in this alleged story. Again, it could be made up, but the thing that's crazy is that we have real world examples of other influencers that are making very similar content, right? Jay Bay and others that show that this is very much so something that is possible, right? So I don't think it's completely out of the out of whack that this could have happened, right? But continuing to read this, right? Um, she tried to roll, oh yeah, we already read that. A um, little more people to be free. She huffed and asked why uh, the two of us just can't roll her. I explained to her I don't want either of us to hurt our backs, which is understandable, especially not my pregnant CNA. Again, I get that and that it would be safer for us to wait for more people. Side note, this patient sucked at rolling herself. She was dead weight, putting in little to no effort. She was pissed at me, saying that she wanted to speak uh, to my char uh, charge nurse. Uh, she said I hurt her feelings. My charge nurse ended up being um, part of the team that helped me roll her, and while we were doing it, she basically scolded the patient and said that her feelings were not more important than us not getting injured. Uh, she still thinks I'm an a-hole and I happily offered her the phone number um, she can call to f file a formal complaint. Um, those do literally nothing, by the way. Am I the a-hole, right? And then going on to read some of these comments, right? It says, so NTA means not the a-hole. Um, my mom hurt her back helping roll a patient in this exact situation, right? Uh, NTA. Your priority is the safety and well-being of both yourself and your pregnant colleague. This patient should understand the limitations and challenges that come with her weight and work uh, with the medical staff instead of expecting them to cater uh, to her every need. It's not about hurting her feelings. It's about pr protecting yourselves from potential injuries. Keep standing up for yourself and your colleagues. You're doing the right thing. Um, NTA, the nurse was being responsible by protecting the health and safety of the staff, staff especially consider, considering the CNA's pregnancy and the risk of back injury from lifting a patient of that size. The patient's feelings are secondary to ensuring a safe work, working environment. So it seems that like everyone's kind of in consensus that, hey, th this is not your fault. You shouldn't feel bad about this. But again, I just wanted to bring this up because I felt that it was really interesting because, again, this is... Obviously a story that we, we can't tell for sure if this actually happened. There's I, I'm not from what I've seen. There's no video footage. Um, but th from what we have seen and what we've talked about in the past and videos that we have made, there are certainly people out there that will make content about this kind of stuff and they will use this experience as a way to say, hey, this is me being, you know, discriminated against. This is me being treated poorly because of my size. When you have to understand there are two sides to every coin and you can't expect people that are just, I don't want to say just nurses, like it's not, like people that are nurses that didn't go to be lifting 450 pounds to expect them to be able to lift 450 pounds. You have to like, at the same time, like, yeah, your, your size, you know, it, you have to understand that it is going to be a burden on like there, there are going to be problems because of your size. Does that mean that you're a terrible person and that you don't deserve care? No, but you have to understand the position that you have put yourself in is going to affect those around you. And if those around you aren't able to cater to every whim, especially on their own, right? That's not their fault. And it's not like they're intentionally trying to be disparaging to you or trying to make you feel like a, you know, a terrible person, but they have to protect themselves as well. And one of the biggest things is when you are that size, people being able to lift you is going to become a problem, right? And so I think that thinking that, uh, you know, so, there's some like conspiracy that people are just, they hate you because you're big. You have to understand that like your size is directly affecting their ability to do the job that they need to do for you, 
right? But I just wanted to share that story. I, I thought it was really interesting when I saw it on Reddit and I was like, okay, cool. I'll, I'll talk about this in the video. But I would love to know what y'all think down in the comment section down below. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of video. Um, and if you made it to the end, thumbs up really helps the channel. A subscribe obviously really helps the channel. And yeah, I would appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.